Do you want to start it? No, you can't. Okay. When I was 13, <laughs> I had my first love. There was nobody but like, there was nobody that compared to my baby and nobody came between the Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back to the Lone ah! Episode 11. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The Mr. Consistencies. What the fuck? <laughs> you might have to clip that bell. <laughs> what should they do? They should give us five star on Spotify. Yep. Subscribe if you're not subscribed on YouTube. Yep. And follow our Instagrams. What's your Instagram? Louis like? Boucher. And my Instagram is Matthew Mosey underscore. Okay, now that that's all out of the way. Ugh. Who would be a better dad? Me. Do you think? Yeah. Why? Because I'm a morning person. And Why would that mean up. you're a better dad? Because babies get up at the crack of dawn. Yeah. You'd Why be does there, that matter? You'd be there like slugging away with the babies coming around you being like, oh, Lloyd, Lloyd. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> like children. They're, yeah, that's what I mean. They'd be want to be entertained super early in the morning mm. and I feel like you'd just be like, ah... Not right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then like what about the factors like you just lose them, teach them nothing. What? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'd lose my children? I'd put a lot of money on it. Never. I, I might nearly, find them again. I nearly got lost in Spain. It was scary as well. Because it was when around how the, old? It was around the time of Madeleine McCann. Okay. So like when we went, my parents were like, Look, it's busy. Just don't get lost. And I just saw something shiny in the distance, so I just like ran to it. How old were you? Uh, like five or six. When did Madeleine McCann happen? Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to... It was, it was definitely around the time, 2003. So yeah, it was like around that time. <laughs> around that time. What, what, are the, what are the factors? There's loads of factors that go into yeah. it. I just wanted to see what you'd say. I, I think as well... No, I think we're both going to be good dads. That made it sound like we're going to be dads together. Do you, do, <laughs> do you reckon like our kids will like hang out with each other? I think mine will hate yours. Why? Because yours is going to be, um, what's it called? An uncontrollable twat. No. <laughs> oh my. You take back what you said about my <laughs> fucking kids. <laughs> no, my kids are going to be... Undisciplined. No, That's the be, word I was No, they will for. be disciplined. Because I they? wasn't disciplined as a kid. Were you not? No. You did what you want. Mm, within reason. Obviously, just don't do anything... Illegal. Illegal or hurtful to be at anyone, you know, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Just basic yeah, right just and basic, wrong. Yeah, that's what I mean. Just basic things. So I, I want to be more disciplined to my kids, I reckon. But then again, like... Yeah, next question. <laughs> <laughs> What's something you find attractive that most people don't or wouldn't? Just basic respect. Oh, no, there's got to be something more interesting. No, than that's, that. ge- that's or something genuine. weirder than that. Something weird. Yeah. Necks. Oh, there you go. There you go. Next. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Next that is weird. And just necks. Just necks. <laughs> I'm just obsessed with necks. Yeah, I don't know why. I think that's an underrated body part. A neck. Yeah, neck. I guess so. Do you ever see a neck and you're like, that's beautiful? No. But I get the idea of like, um,. Bro, chill. <laughs> I get the idea of liking a neck. I don't know. Like when a neck is like got f- definition to it. High definition. <laughs> you want someone to hit neck day? <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Like when um, when it's like a little bit like, I don't know, like a good collarbone placement. Why don't girls have Adam's apples? What do you mean? Why don't girls have visible Adam apples? What? What's an Adam's apple? What is it? Isn't it this? Yeah, I know, but like, why don't girls have visible Adam's girls apples? Girls don't have Adam's apples. Have you know, girls don't have visible Adam's apples. I don't even know if they have them. What? Do You're they? You're joking. What? I thought it was like a manly thing. I'm positive it's like a manly thing. An Adam's apple. Girls don't have Adam's apples. Or at least they're not visible. Like, you don't see girls have like visible Adam's apples, Maybe really. that's why I like necks. Yeah. Wait, I'm so confused now. Wait, what? No, this is... Everyone's larynx grows during puberty, but a girl's larynx doesn't grow as much as a boy's does. That's why boys have Adam's apples. Most girls don't have Adam's apples, but some do. It's no big deal either way. I don't know why they put that on there. (laughs) Yeah, so girls don't really have Adam's apples. But what is the point of an Adam's apple? I don't know the point of it. Is it your... Where your voice... Is that why... Is it your vocal cords are in there? That's why, like... Men have deeper voices, traditionally? Maybe. Maybe. 
I don't actually know what it, the purpose of it is. I didn't enjoy science at school. No. But girls don't really have it. I've never noticed that. I've literally, my mind's blown. How have I never known that? Yeah. I'm trying to think of like people's necks now. <laughs> well, like girls' necks. Yeah. Yeah, they don't really have Adam's apples. What? Not many of them do. That's <laughs> I'm going to tell everyone this. I'm going to be like, yo, you know girls don't have Adam's And they'll all go, yeah, I know. And I'll go, what? (laughs) No, come on. You think this is some groundbreaking fact? Have you never, like, realised or thought? No, I'm going to be looking at everyone's neck now. Yeah, you won't look them in the eyes. You'll just be looking at their Adam's apple. Is it somewhere now? Guys have big ones compared to girls. That's weird. That is freaky. I've literally never noticed that. I've blown your mind. Wow. With a new fact about girls. I will be looking Adam's at apples. everyone's necks for the next 72 hours. Strictly. <laughs> now, you've got a nice Adam's apple. Mine's quite prominent. Yeah. Like, I can f- feel it move all the time. <laughs> I don't like touching mine. Mine's not that prominent. What body parts, that, what other body parts do you not like being touched or you like fine? Because a lot of people don't like belly button or feet or whatever. I don't mind being touched unless it's by Guion. Okay. He just, it hurts when he touches me. Okay. Like whenever, whenever I, like someone was to just touch me or whatever, it's fine. But he just does something here. And when he lets go of me, it will continue to hurt for 20 seconds past that. Really? And I keep saying to him, stop. But he still does it. What about belly button? You find um, when people touching yeah, your belly button? When, when someone puts their finger like inside your belly button. It feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> or toes? Feet? Um... I yeah, well, I hate being tickled. Okay. Like I'm a massive like tickler. <laughs> Are your feet ticklish? Oh, I'm so ticklish. Everywhere. Everywhere. Armpits. I'm like, if someone was to touch me here, it'd be fine. But then if someone was to touch my armpits and then here, it's like my armpit extends to my hip. <laughs> like you could tickle my hip after my armpit, and it would still tickle. Okay. I like what. I hate being tickled. And it's not like people think it's like cute or saying it's just not. It's not. Like I get it's so annoying. defensive. I'm like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing for a while. It's yeah. like, so I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I have some quick fire maths questions for oh. you. Because we were playing a game yesterday on Twitch. The Well, our friend's Twitch, the Weatherman 98. If you ever want, want to watch us, we're always on his Twitch. And we were doing a game which had quick fire maths, and you kept getting them wrong. And there was one which was just so fucking funny. <laughs> it was so bad. Can I just say, I can never understand the like minus low numbers. Yeah. Surely that's a common thing. Like a minus, minus, a minus number. No, just like three minus five. Okay. What is that? Minus two. Is it? Yeah. No, it's not. It's that, just it's just two. No, it's not. That's three minus one. What? Okay, let's go. Quick five maths questions. Hit me. Six times seven. 42. Four minus five. Oh, see, this is what you thought <laughs> it Four. Don't think about it too much. Minus five is just one. No, it's minus one. How? 18 plus 13. Oh, 31. Yeah. Minus 19 plus four. What? Minus 19? Plus four. Minusing what? Minus 19 oh, right. plus four. Oh, right. Uh, fif- minus 15 Yes 5 times 12 60 17 plus 7 17 plus 7 Yeah 23 4 24 Four. Yeah 1 minus 0 1 <laughs> Minus 0 Is 1 Yes Okay But yesterday you said 0 <laughs> <laughs> I did the- I'm I- I'm fine with everything else Okay Kind of But when it's like small numbers that have to cross over the zero, okay, I don't understand. Zero times seven. <laughs> it's either zero or seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Come on! Yeah, but I can't. I can't work out if your time's in a zero or your time's in a seven. <laughs> it don't matter. Well, which one are you times in? Zero <laughs> times seven. Zero. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's zero lots of seven, so it's zero. Yeah, but if you're zeroing lots of seven, surely that's seven. No, that's one lot of seven <laughs> is seven. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jeezy pubes, man. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh, my God. I can't believe you're that bad. No, I got, I swear to God, I got given a prize for learning my times table under the age of 10. Really? Yeah. And now it's all gone out the window. <laughs> no, you're down to the zero times table. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh Jesus Jeezy peeps that man. That was so good. The what? That was so good. I can't believe it. Is surely people <laughs> struggle with that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon they do. Because uh, it's like it's the zero always gets me. Mm. And I honestly don't when you have three minus five, mm. are you minus in the three from five or the five from three? The five from three because it comes three after minus it. Five. See this is why I think I'm like a bit autistic. <laughs> because in my brain, <laughs> how, how I picture numbers, yeah. it doesn't work that way. Okay. Like that seems incorrect. Three minus five yeah. seems like you're taking three away from five, which is two. No, that's five minus three. Yeah, see, it works. You for, flip them. For, but for plusing, adding, <laughs> it's five. <laughs> Like, it always gets... Like, I don't understand. I actually don't understand It's fine. We'll, we'll get off maths. We'll get off maths. God, I'm getting all riled up. <laughs> <We're> getting... <laughs> Random things people on the internet find attractive. Let's go. Next. Let's just discuss them. <laughs> when someone looks exhausted. That's not attractive. Do you know what I think? Like when they're like... They've just done like a four hour workout and they're... No, but that's not exhausted. That's pumped. No, that's exhausted. No, 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 no. If no. you work yourself to the point of failure, you're exhausted. No, 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 I disagree. That's rewarding. What are you disagreeing e with? You're disagreeing with nothing. <laughs> exhausted. <did it> <laughs> to me, exhaustion is like you physically just have to fall asleep. Mm. But when you come back from a gym, you've got a towel around your neck, you're like, woo, killer workout today, boys. That's a good... That's a different type of exhaustion. I'm thinking like black eyes, tired, crouched, Can hardly breathe. Danny Aaron's posture. <laughs> <laughs> like literally like, oh. Okay. That's not attractive. Okay, true. Fresh from the gym, covered in sweat. Wait, what? <laughs> no, yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that's 50-50. Uh, depends how exhausted they are. <laughs> how exhausted you are. When they wear super wacky, colorful socks. No. Well, like neon. Yeah, just like weird, like Christmas socks in June and shit like that. Um, no. 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 I don't understand the internet half the time. These people can't be real. Yeah, I was going to say that. They must be made Surely up. a children wrote that. Yeah, oh. surely a children wrote that. <laughs> Is that like a flock of childs? <laughs> a children. Oh, a children. <laughs> Chewing gum whilst reading a magazine. It was like That's 1948. So yeah. <laughs> Not even 48, like with 2008. Like, with like a comb over. Why are you thinking of a man? There wasn't. A comb over. Yeah, women can have comb overs. No, women don't get comb overs. Women can have comb overs. Women Where, don't uh, normally get comb overs. The Skrillex cut. <laughs> 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 comb over. You yeah. definitely meant a bloke. Mm. <laughs> People who are left-handed My mum and my brother's left-handed And you're left-handed So yeah <laughs> So yeah So yeah, I'm attracted to my <laughs> family <laughs> Hella fit <laughs> Cheesy bitch Cheesy If bitch. they cook good garlic bread Say that again If they cook good garlic bread Yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I that think makes you attracted to them. I've gotten really good at cooking garlic bread, by the way. So, whoever wrote that, ours is homemade as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's very I, easy to make. But, but I've never looked at someone and thought like, like taking a bite of garlic bread and was like, "You made this," <laughs> <laughs> and just yeah, that's why would anyone find that attractive? I don't know. Garlic bread, man. People find people who can cook attractive, though. In general, I can cook. Can you? Yes. What about? Pasta Gate, October 2022. Pasta Gate. <laughs> that was like the first time ever I've cooked. <laughs> you made uh, fucking, uh, what's it called? You made ammunition for the fucking army. 
<laughs> that mince was we won't pellets. Go there. We won't go there. That mince was we've gone there. That, that mince was literally pellets. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. I've, I've made a good improvement. Okay, I have. I, I've come a long way. You have actually. You are getting much better. I, I'm, I still don't understand portions. Yeah. Not like, at all. Every day you ask how many grams of this. Yeah. And so how wait, many chips, grams of that? Chips is three fifty. Chips is like 300, 350, 300. Yeah, I'm getting there. Chicken, 350, 400. Pasta, 100 grams each. Yeah, I, d- I just don't know how you remember that. Jim, my what mate. About- <laughs> what about him? No, just because you have to, when you track your food, you just end up knowing everything. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. But it's actually really unhealthy for your mind to tr- tr- track food. <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend it. But like, how do you visually just say, so if you weren't tracking food, mm-hmm. how do you just look at chicken and think like, yeah, I want that much? Because it shrinks. Yeah, I guess. But you can tell by like how many, if you just look at the packet, it will tell you. Yeah. And then just go a bit more normally. Because mm. the they normally do it for like an average person. I mean, we are average people. But I mean like a f- woman I'm does five, six or something. In what? Maths intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got for you a bit of switch up. Okay, switch up. Okay. The worst Riz on the internet. Okay, perfect. He replies to every story with, you're so cute. <laughs> Even when I posted about the anniversary of my dead gran. Oh my God. Every story? Every story. Jeez. <sighs> Louise. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay. That's this- so bad. Her dead man. He, he must so he cute. must have have it on auto. Like he must as soon as she posts a story, it's like autopilot takes over, you're so cute. Yeah. And it not just realize. Sends. Oh was, my god. I was walking and a bunch of people were in the way of me and he shouted Get away from my girl dog despite <laughs> despite knowing me less than an hour. <laughs> Get away from my girl dog. That's the most American thing I've ever heard in my life. Get away from my girl dog. Oh my No you can tell He's literally a psychopath As well Yeah He'll turn into Patrick Bateman He's, he's going a protective route Which isn't a good route No I don't Nobody know. wants that But girls are attracted to that no, Yeah actually To be uh, fair yeah This next one just kills me <laughs> He was sending me snaps Of him pouting With the dog filter <laughs> <laughs> That is traumatising Riz <laughs> That is so bad. Oh, what year was this? Does that dog filter still exist on Snap? I, I don't know. So it must have been... That was your go-to back in the day. No, wasn't I was going to say that was your go-to. <laughs> this might have been you. I never used the dog filter. I did, but I didn't use Everyone it like used religiously. Yeah, on yeah, school yeah. trips on the bus, you'd be <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, everyone was so weird five years ago. This, Things you'd look yeah. at now is like, like skinny if we jeans. wore skinny jeans with the dog filter and like, <laughs> s- like the tight, really tight white top like this. Yeah, you'd be called like zesty or something. <laughs> <laughs> you actually would. It was it was a quick shift from mm. uh, skinny jeans to cargos. Yeah, like I remember the day it happened. I, I think there was one significant day. I swear to God, it was one significant day. Okay, what happened? I was fi- doing a film of an ice cream shop and I saw this one guy that went to our school wearing jeans. Parachute jeans. Parachute jeans. And I just remember thinking, like, I looked at his jeans, I looked at mine and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Who's in the wrong here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a standoff between skinny and fat. And since then, I haven't actually... Worn skinny jeans. Yeah. Yeah. But it went from like skinny jeans to cargoes and then very quickly went to like trousers. Yeah. Like straights. formal. I've got straights on right now. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's weird how trends work like that. Yeah. 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 But you have to tweet about it for it to be a trend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nothing's a trend unless you tweet about it. <laughs> oh, that's so It's good. quite scary though because you could look back at pictures in like yeah. a year, two years' time and, and then you'll be like, why the fuck was I wearing that? Mm. And it'll be like, I felt so good at the time. I was dripped out. I was actually a drip. I had a good fashion sense when? when I was a kid. And then the second I went to secondary school, literally just all, just went out the window. Yeah. I remember wearing... Um, so when you started dressing yourself, opposed to your mum dressing you, <laughs> that's when it went tits up. No, because I used to... I used to get, like, my mum would take me shopping. Okay. And would, like, 
would buy me stuff, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I like, and I would also get hand-me-downs from my brothers. And they had really nice clothes, like nice nineties clothes. Um, and then, like, do you remember in year like seven or eight or whatever, like n- neon was quite... Mm. Yeah. And I got... The fun run where everyone had to wear neon pink or yellow. We didn't have to, but everyone just did. Yeah. And I remember wearing like a yellow v-neck sweatshirt (laughs) neon yellow neon yellow and i just remember thinking like like i saw a picture of me in that fun run maybe like a couple years ago and Mm. i just remember thinking like why why did i do that who let me do this i just did it i and i went around the whole fun run when it's meant to be like a fun time talking with each other going around the leg i just had my headphones in i was on my own you thought you were him (laughs) and i was listening to like funk funk (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the thing is it actually was funk did you run it did no. you actually run the fun run no 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 oh. my brother's got the record for the school you know that has he yeah what for the fastest fastest time around the lake run the lake not the whole thing mm, the whole the fun run really from yeah. school to, really I don't know if this changes anymore you know my brother was like a class runner was he class we had to run it every year for PE for like GCSE and A level and shit like that I cannot run <laughs> it's actually it's actually like worrying me recently That's why, why didn't you come on my run I couldn't get to the end of the road yeah you could I couldn't you could sprint to the end of the road I could sprint to the end of the road and then stop and that would be it hand on knees going <sighs> you are asthmatic no my ass is just mad thick oh it's a lot of extra weight do you reckon there's ever been a time in the last four years where someone said you're asthmatic and you haven't responded with that? Yeah. <laughs> no, there's not. <laughs> uh, I say it to everyone. And I always, that's, that's an opening line as well. On. Yeah, if they say to me like, oh, you're, you're asthmatic. And I'm like, no, nah, you just took my breath away. <laughs> <laughs> or if I see them with an inhaler and I was like, oh, I just, I just thought it was your ass that was mad thick. <laughs> I'm joking. Wait, are we still on the topic of the worst Riz? <laughs> <laughs> now that's good Riz. Is it? Yes. I think all Riz is good Riz. Like, who cares at the end of the day? Like, just the, laugh at it. It's did you funny. see the, the TikTok I sent you of the anti Riz? <laughs> no, what did he say? It, it was a guy that was like, there was a girl next to him. He was pretending to yawn. Oh, no. and then he, she looks the other way and he goes. <laughs> I feel like there's so much pressure nowadays though, though yeah. on like how good your chat is yeah. that didn't exist like three years ago like hi how are you was literally fine three you, years ago you said alright alright <laughs> O-R-I-T or alright O-R-I-T 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 but it worked though I hope you got no bitches <laughs> bro I told you I was doing back to backs every week in primary in secondary school in year seven uh, no one could stop me. <laughs> the only thing that could stop me was isolation for being naughty. <laughs> they had to pull me out of the game because there was no <laughs> bitch. <laughs> there was no bitches left on the table. <laughs> so rude. They had to give everyone else a chance. Yeah. The they were thinking of transferring me schools <laughs> to complete the trinity of that area. They were sending you to Harvard for risk. <laughs> Graduated and people were going to study me at the age of 11. <laughs> <laughs> no, my chat was terrible. I used to just tell him to hold my just do it bag and chips whilst I play football. You've told me this story. It's a great story. It's so good. And then it's like when your girl watches you play, you play immaculately. Yeah. But when she's holding your bag and chips, <laughs> there's another level. You turn messy. You turn godlike. I was literally him. <laughs> I saw in the basement yard they were talking about how they open a banana. Yeah. And Guion told me that you do it really weirdly, apparently. I think... Oh, where did this come from? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm the only person that does this. How do you eat a banana? Just peel it from the top. What's the top? The stem. Okay, okay. I agree with you, yeah. but apparently it's the other way around. Apparently this is the top. Yeah, I think that's what they said in the basement yard as well. Yeah, and the and monkeys do it like this. It's like the handle. Okay. I eat a banana weirdly. Okay. I peel it. Yeah. From whatever side. Pretty normal. Straight down. Okay. I just take Wait it out. It. Okay. And I just eat it like this. this. I feel like some people do that. And I just I just eat it like this. Then why Gwion would you want to hold that? You go, Gwion, yeah, that's what Gwion said. Gwion was like, why are you eating this like this? Do you attack it from one end or both? Both. You go from both ends? Uh-huh. That is fucking weird. <laughs> I feel like you're not the only one who does that though. 
But it's fucking weird. Why don't you? Why would you want like grimy fingers when you can just hold the peel? You lick it after. Lick what? My fingers. Then they're still not clean though. You lick my fingers. No, they're even dirtier. <laughs> I regret eating this. <laughs> you just put it in the peel. I'll put it in the heart. Oh my god. <laughs> For free? <laughs> Just right. put it in the peel. I love a banana. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the video I sent you the other day of Lewis Capaldi singing? No, what was it? Let me just, I'll show you now. It was like that Theo Baker video when he goes, No, it's not the best. <laughs> but Capaldi was singing on TikTok. I, I saw a video of Mr. Beast's voice break. Really? When he was opening his Beast Burger. <laughs> He was like shouting to everyone through a microphone and he was like, thank you for all being here. You could tell it was gonna go though, because it, it like kept getting close to breaking, and then it just went. <laughs> ah. It's got to be one of the worst. Ah, one of the worst voice breaks. Of all oh time. my word! Do you ever see him on like Graham Norton and shit like that? He's, he's funny. so funny. He's funny. Like is, literally the funniest celebrity. Yo. Is that just because he's Scottish? No, I think he just genuinely is funny. I don't okay. think every Scot is funny. No, I think every Scot doesn't try to be funny. They just are funny. Yeah. They just don't give a fuck. Yeah. They literally just don't care about anything. I know a Scottish guy that just shaved his hair. For no reason. For no reason. (laughs) Like, he was filming himself. Firstly, he set his hair on fire. (laughs) And then he just shaved it off. Is he in the circus? (laughs) Did he go down the middle with it? Uh, Yeah, I think he was just straight on with the camera. and And everyone was like, what? And he had locks. 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 He had lots of hair. And he ruined it. He didn't ruin it. He looked all right, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He, kept, he had a big, big, great, big bushy beard. He was a Viking. And he, yeah, he was a Viking. Mm. Kind of looked like a Viking. And he just cut it all off. Fair enough. Nutty guy. I can imagine you get so sick of long hair. Yeah. What's the longest your hair's ever been? I don't think it's ever been long. Is oh, it? are you joking? Yeah. It's to my nipples. That's Cav. It's not. Pull up a picture then. I don't think I have a picture. I can ask, oh. I can ask my parents How old to send me one. It was like when I was in year three. Okay. To your nipples? To my nipples. That's like Tarzan length. Yeah, I got called Tarzan. That was literally what I got called. Okay, get a picture. I'll ask Even if friends. we don't get it in time, I just wanted to see it after. That's so long. My, when I was in year three, my mum said, you are not having long hair because you'll have nits and then just shave my head. <laughs> oh yeah, you did go bald, didn't you? I was a skinhead for most of primary school. <laughs> there, was, there was two Matthews in my year. And I had long hair, like super long hair, and he was bald because of nits. Yeah. And um, yeah, I don't, re- I don't remember having. I think I did have nits. Everyone had nits at one point. Like I, I do kind of have a vivid. <laughs> I think I kind of have a vivid memory of my mum sitting me in the bath with like, the nit comb. With the nit comb yeah. and taking them. How? How? This might be a dumb question. Why do children get nits? I don't know. I actually don't know. Like, I just know they jump from head to head. Is it from like not what? washing? They properly? jump from head to head. Yeah. Serious. Not like fucking twelve foot. They don't fly across the room <laughs> like oh, there's another head. I but like I, when you rub heads or we'll share a hat or some shit. I thought it was like the knit was already <laughs> in you, and the, when you get what, older, and it escapes your scalp. Yeah. It like comes, it comes through, through your, your hair. hair and then it nests in your hair. That it, would be disgusting. It's like War of the Worlds with Tom Hanks, uh, mm. Cruise. How the machines are already under Earth and, and the lightning sweat. just comes down. Like they're already down there. I didn't know they jump from head to head. I'm, I, um, if they come out of your head, that is fucking disgusting. Is a knit and a flea the same thing? No. Okay. It just says head to head contact with an already infested per- infest- infested person is the most common way to get the head lice damn but where do they start yeah it's like uh chicken or the egg yeah <laughs> the lice or the head so you may wonder where did head lice come from in the first place <laughs> the short answer is that if you of your child have lice you got them from another person <laughs> so where do they fucking start then where does lice come from lice where, is that what they call headlice head yeah lice. i don't know 
Uh, it says the most likely explanation is that. So they don't even know. H. Sapiens evolved in Africa about two hundred thousand years ago. So they've been jumping heads for two hundred thousand years. Wait, this has got to be a joke. The most likely explanation is that by the time H. Sapiens <laughs> evolved in Africa about two hundred thousand years ago, we had our own lineage of head lice, and then we picked up more from H. Erectus on our travels. Says Reed, biology professor. H. Erectus. Take her professor away from her right now. What is H. Erectus? She's chatting shit. Maybe she's right. Or he. Wait, so you're no, saying Mike- head lice has been evolving for 200,000 years and the only way it can evolve if it jumps from child's heads. Homo sapiens probably picked up the second type of louse about 25,000 years ago as we swept through Asia, says David Reed of Florida Museum. That would mean we bumped into our evolutionary cousin Homo erectus after the (laughs) hominid had lived undisturbed in the east for more than a million years. That's so fucking weird. There's no way head lice were around a million years ago and then we just happened to go and get them from Asia. And they've just been jumping from ever since. Head to head, not dying. And they've not evolved either. No, they're still tiny little white dots in your head. Oh, they're white. I thought they were like, uh, like bugs. They're just like white dots. They're so small. Wow. But then they like move around so they make your head itch. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't miss them one bit. You ever... Oh, no. That was so disgusting what I was about to ask you. I'm not asking you that. No, on say podcast. it. No, I'm not asking you that. Say it. I'm not asking you that. Can you send it me as a text? No. Can you just say it? This doesn't have to go in. You can just say it. Have you ever had worms? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't had worms. I wonder what it feels like. I wonder what it looks like. But it's kind of good because it gives you like an itchy bottom, doesn't it? Do you remember That's what someone, worms is? Right? Do you remember someone in our year sister had worms? Yeah. No. Oh, it's making me feel sick. Though. I remember when my cat had worms. Oh, okay. that was fucking grim. Like that was genuinely fucking disgusting. Thinking about it. Okay. Has your dog ever had worms? Let's just change topic. Okay, yeah, that's, <laughs> good that's a good idea. No, but my dog does have an itchy bum sometimes. I mean, you scratch take it him. with your tongue. No, no. What the fuck is wrong with you? No, we take him to the vet and they put their finger in his bum. And you're paying for the vet fee for that. I literally could do that. No, because... <laughs> no, he would run away from you traumatised. He wouldn't. Traumatised Riz. Do you want to do some dad jokes on the pod for I the do first do time dad ever? Jokes. Okay. Dad jokes on the pod. Okay. Worst dad jokes of all time. Go. What do you call a constipated detective? What? No shit, Sherlock. Do you want a box for your leftovers? No, but I'll wrestle for them. <laughs> I joined a nudist colony. The first few days were the hardest. <laughs> Have you ever tried to catch a fog? I tried yesterday, but I missed. <laughs> What's a kidnapper's favourite shoe? What? White vans. (laughs) (laughs) Why can't you hear a psychiatrist using the bathroom? Why? Because the pee is silent. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Alright, I think that's the end. Yeah. So I think they're going to comment white paper. White paper? White paper. Okay. White paper. Where did you see that to look at? It was toilet roll, but I just thought... Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Comment white paper. Yeah. Subscribe on YouTube. Five stars on Spotify. Like the video on YouTube. What's your Instagram? Lloyd Boucher. My Instagram is Matthew Mosley underscore. Our Instagrams are the first place you'll see our podcast posted. Yeah, if, if you, you don't, don't have, have a notification. Yeah, yeah, Which yeah, you yeah, should yeah. all have on. Yeah, exactly. Turn the bell on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Love you. See ya. Peace. See ya. Peace. Peace. Slam this banana now.